Hello, I'm Paul DeWinner with AEA Technology, and today we're going to be talking about the 2020 TDR. In this segment, we're going to be measuring the velocity of the cable. It's extremely important to get the velocity of a cable correct, to get correct measurements to uh, events on the cable or the end of the cable. Whether you're looking for water, shorts, opens, split pairs, bridge taps, uh, all those measurements uh, are dependent on getting the correct velocity to get the correct distance. So today we've connected a twisted pair cable to the top of our TDR and we're going to go into the F5 menu to measure its velocity. And the feature we'll be using is sample a cable. Press any right arrow key on sample a cable, it'll give you the instructions to connect the cable to the TDR and its connector and leave the end of the cable open. We'll press enter and it will present the cable to us on screen. We want to be able to take the cursor and mark it right at the point where the uh, open or the deviation in the cable and press enter. It may ask you to uh, reposition or uh, the cursor a second time as depending on the length of the cable selected, the cursor will uh, need to zoom in closer. We're going to zoom in right on the end, press enter. The next step it's going to ask us to do is enter the exact length of the cable. And using your tape measure, you want to measure the cable in feet and inches, or if you have metric, and record that information, and then enter it into the TDR. In this case, we measured the cable at exactly 17 feet, enter that, and zero inches, and we'll enter that. With that entry done, it tells us that this cable's velocity is 64.4 C, which means the uh, wave traveling on this cable travels at 64.4% the speed of light in a vacuum. We'll accept that as a reasonable velocity and it'll ask us to uh, press the memory slot to save that. We'll save it in slot zero as that's an overwrite slot. And when we come back on screen, after calibrating, we'll move our cursor back to exactly where the end of that cable is and it should measure, in this case, 17 feet 1 inch. We'll move it a little bit. 17 feet exactly. 